Hello internet marketers, thanks for checking out another review video from How to Webmaster. Today I am reviewing the best binner version 4.0. Here it is. This is what the best binner looks like now. It is a web based software. There's nothing to download or install. Everything is now online with this version 4.0. For those of you who don't know, the best binner is a tool to automatically bin your articles and make it more unique. So basically with one article, you can make hundreds and thousands of unique articles and they have really upgraded everything completely. It used to be a desktop software and it had a bunch of bugs, but now everything is online. So everything is completely redesigned and a year ago i tested out the best binner version 3 and at that time it ranked number two on my list of the top five article spinners on the market number one was spin rewriter and the only thing missing at that time was that the best binner was lacking a web-based version but now here it is they created a web-based version of the software and you guys can check out my review, my full review, and my scores and ratings and article examples for the best spinner. Please check the link out below this video. There's also a special bonus for buyers of the best spinner through my link. Okay, so here's the dashboard of the best spinner. You get instant access after payment. And the first thing you notice is that it looks very minimal in design. So the first thing you want to do is create a new project. Just click here and then you can rename it. Just double click to rename it to whatever you want and then select it and create a new article by clicking this right here. And they have three different options for you to create an article with. Either you uh, copy and paste or create one right now. So a title and a body or you can use one of the 100,000 plus PLR private label rights articles and they conveniently have separated the articles into categories and subcategories and then you can also do a search so if I search for coffee there's a bunch of uh, coffee articles you can preview or you can double click to use that article there's also a built-in article builder this is a great tool because every article in article builder is actually unique and highly readable already uh, this tool alone is $97 or more a year so once again you just select an article category the amount of words you want and then click on get content and there you have it this is a completely unique article already and you don't even need to spin it actually that's the thing with article builder the only issue is that they only have articles in these certain categories and each article looks very similar in terms of the, the content but the content itself is unique in the words and phrases and synonyms used Okay, but I'm going to do my test with an article I've already prepared. So this was an article I used in the old, the best binner testing. So I'm going to use the same one and make a comparison between the new version and the old version to see if there's any difference. All right, so here's the article. It's about stress management. Let's click on import. And now we have the stress management article right here. You can double click to view the article so there are basically three options uh, there's the visual the code and the generate article in the visual you can see the article so in the code right away it gives you this warning saying that either you should use the visual editor or the code editor don't try to do both at the same time because it might conflict with each other okay I like to uh, use the code editor anyways because this is the feature I always use is the automatic spinning right here the light bulb you can also do a manual spin so manual spinning means that you can highlight a word and then 
add synonyms or spin it like that so let's do anger so see it does the automatic spin tags for you or you can use this right here for toggle spin mode which conveniently highlight every word or phrase that you want to spin and then you can use your arrow keys left and right to go between uh, the next words and phrases and then you can just click click to add the synonyms automatically and then the next word so like that but the most important feature for me anyways is the automatic spinning right here so if you click this it automatically adds synonyms and format your article with spin tags the entire article it finds synonyms and add it automatically now one of the major difference between the best spinner and the old best spinner version 3 is that when you use the automatic spinning it actually gives you an option to select whether you want the most unique article or the most readable article but in this new version it doesn't give you that option it just automatically adds synonyms for you i'm guessing it's using the best synonyms possible but i don't really know uh, until i uh, generate an article and then we'll find out so in generate you can click here to spin so every time you click here it spins a new version and then there are other features where you can download a certain amount of articles or you can post to a blog and save so here's a newly spun version and let's compare this with the original and see how unique it is all right to do the comparison test i'll be using copyscape their free article comparison tool right here i'll leave a link in the description below this video for you guys to check it out so here's the original article and here's the generated spun article let's do a comparison okay so there's 50 about 50 percent match that means it is 50 percent unique which is pretty good not too bad when i was doing this article comparison test on version 3.0 uh, the best spinner on this exact same article it produced 30% article uniqueness on the best uh, quality setting and then about 40% on the medium quality and on good quality is about 50% article uniqueness which is the same as right now so I'm guessing the best spinner is using just uh, barely or good quality synonyms and you really can't select between good, better, and best quality in this case. So I'm going to try to quickly just read over a few paragraphs and see how good of the readability quality is. Okay, so right away in the first sentence, there's already mistakes. I'm guessing from the, the software, it's got an undefined uh, variable here. And then second sentence, you know they're just little little mistakes here and there so yes this is using the good synonyms it's not using the best kind of synonyms i wish they have a an option for choosing the best synonyms just like they did with version 3.0 because right now even though it is a good 50 percent match the readability is quite it's not that that great so there's just more editing to be done before you can actually publish this article automatically spun okay i'm going to do another test with a different article this one's about internet marketing and again i'll be leaving you guys the links to all my tests and my full review for you guys to check it out in the links below this video all right so here's the new article the original about marketing and the newly spun article right here on the right side so let's compare alrighty it seems to be about 44% match or 47% match depending so almost 50% again and comparing this with the original the best spinner 3.0 on the best article setting it had a 68% uniqueness on medium quality is about 77% and good quality is nearly 80% so 
So it seems like the Best Bender 3.0 actually performed better in terms of uniqueness compared with the new version 4.0 at about 50% uniqueness. Now let's check out the article quality and readability. So right away in the, every sentence there seems to be a mistake here and there just like before like right here house and the ability to go their selected audience uh, doesn't make sense the new version is actually not as good as the old version for some reason uh, besides having a good uh, web base interface uh, which I really love but uh, the quality is not as good as before so again with the version of best binner the best binner 3.0 a year ago when I tested it I gave it a 4.4 however with the new version article readability is I would I will rate it a little bit lower uh, than before and article uniqueness I will rate it a little bit lower as well the only thing that increased was the ease of news which I will give it a five star this time and the program integrations I'll leave it as is and the price they increased the price as well $47 a year to $67 a year so the price will have to go down a bit uh, in terms of the ratings and I'll write up a new post which will include the examples and ratings for you guys to check it out I'll leave the link in the description below this video and I'll also be making a comparison between the new version of Spin Rewriter version 10 and the best spinner version 4 so I'll be comparing them in the next video as well so be sure to keep an eye out for that so yeah that's pretty much it to uh, the best spinner version 4.0 I hope this helped in making your decision on choosing your next article spinning tools let me know if you guys have any questions thanks so much for viewing be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more internet marketing tips tricks and other tutorials and reviews thanks again and happy marketing